Guys, it's our final week of Dana White's Contender Series. And as sad as I am for that, I am excited for this week. We got six fights, which is super cool. And we're going to break down one of them right now in the lightweight division. We have Issa Isakov taking on, or Issa Isakov? I think it's Isakov. Issa Isakov. He's taking on Markel Medeiros. Uh, for Medeiros, he's 5-0 and in his last five. He's got one loss on the career earlier in the career. Um, for Isakov, he's 4-1 in the last five. He's got a couple of losses, but a little bit more in the fight department. So, uh, interesting fight because one guy's a little more well-rounded, but the other guy is quite a bit favored in that in the area that he is better at. So, for Medeiros, dude's got good striking, uh, but it's kind of awkward. He has a very awkward style, but it works well for him. I, it's kind of... When you watch him, you're like, man, he's landing with a ton of volume and good combinations, but it's kind of just, he just looks awkward when he's doing it. I know that sounds weird to say, but it works very well for him. He does have pretty good striking. I do like that. Uh, good grappling as well. He can wear on his opponents in the cage push, and he's good at getting the takedowns from there. But on the mat, sometimes he does give up position to, to grapplers that are of a high level. And I don't so much like that he gives up the position, going for different things and then losing his spot, but... He does do a good job in the cage push. He does have good takedowns in general. So I do like Medeiros for those reasons. But on the other side, for Isakov, his striking, his combinations are decent, and it does set up his wrestling pretty well, but his striking defense is a big liability. He can get cracked, and we've seen him wobbled a ton, and like that makes me nervous, especially against a guy with an awkward style that's kind of unpredictable and hard to, hard to account for. But in the grappling, Isakov is very good. He, his initial takedown attempt is kind of hit or miss, but a lot of times that's okay because he has very good second and third attempt, and that's where he gets the takedown, in the second and third attempt on the takedown. And he's constantly attacking something when he's on top, whether that be a submission, the ground and pound, the advance of position. He's constantly attacking something and making his opponent work. And he has phenomenal cardio because he's able and he's able to do that over the whole fight, whether it's you know three five minute rounds or whatever it may be. Uh, he's able to do that the whole fight and continue to attack from the top and just never slow that pace down. And that's a very good thing for him. Um, he's very good in the scrambles as well. But the one red flag for me is that he's coming down to 155 pounds. And I believe he's made that weight once before, but it was quite a while ago. In fact, he typically fights at welterweight. So that does scare me just a little bit, especially because, you know, this is a guy that we've seen with defensive liabilities on the feet. You're making a big weight cut. It's a little bit worse, but... Yeah, so I would I would avoid parlaying whoever you may choose in this fight, and I don't really blame you for either. If you just took the underdog, whoever that may be, I don't know what the odds are yet. But if you just took the underdog, I wouldn't blame you in this matchup because both guys have clear paths to victory. Um, but for me, I'm going to take Isakov just for the fact that I think his grappling is just this much better. And I, uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot better, let's be honest. His grappling is a lot better. He's so defensively liable on the feet. It does make me nervous. And with a guy, like I said, with that awkward style of uh, Medeiros, Medeiros could crack him and then get the finish on the mat even. So I'll take Isakov, but uh, I, would caution, I would use caution on this one. He's the pick. Let me know who you have. I appreciate it. Like the video on your way out, and I'll see you in the next breakdown.